Today, I'm going to cover off all the features and functions of what I consider to be the best free app you can get for the Oculus Rift, the Oculus Tray Tool. This is an update on the previous video I made a few months back, as a lot of features have been added since then. So if you want to improve and streamline your VR experience with the Oculus Rift, then stay locked, crush that like button, Enjoy, and I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials, and game clips, minus the sh**. You can follow me on Twitter, at Facepalm, with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to bring your game face. Let's get it done. Now, if you just want to boost the quality of the image in the Rift, then you want this video here. And you can click the link on screen now to go to that video. If, however, you want to boost the quality of the image and a whole lot of other cool shit, then this one is for you. So to start off, let's download the app. All you need to do is check the description of this video and click the link under Oculus Tray Tool Download. Once that page loads up, you'll want to click the top download link as that will always be the newest version. Once downloaded, extract the Oculus Tray Tool folder from the zip file using 7-zip. Then you can delete the other folders left over from the download. Now to set this app up to work correctly, go into the Oculus Tray Tool folder and right click on the Oculus Tray Tool application and choose properties. Click on the compatibility tab and tick this run this program as administrator box then click apply and then hit OK. Now what I do is move this folder to my documents so it's out of the way. Right click and pin it to the start menu. Now I can close this folder and easily start the Tray Tool when I want from the start menu. Once the tray tool is open, start off by clicking this more button here to expand the app. In the first section here, ticking this box means the tray tool will start automatically when you turn your computer on. Start minimized will ensure that when the Oculus tray tool starts, it will start minimized in the Windows tray instead of a full display like this one. Ticking the hide from alt tab box will prevent the minimized Oculus tray tool from showing up if you are playing a game and using alt tab to skip around windows. And ticking this use audio switcher box pops up a window and ticking these two boxes means the Rift's headphones and microphone will be used when Oculus Home starts. Then you can choose here what audio device and microphone will be used when Oculus Home closes. Back out in this power option section, you can set the Windows power plan. I use high performance when I'm using VR and balanced when I'm not. Here you can disable USB selective suspend, which will stop your USB ports from powering down when they aren't being used. And I have this set to disabled as it helps with sensor disconnect issues. For users of the Oculus Recommend Enantec USB 3 expansion card, which uses Fresco drivers, you can enable some Fresco registry tweaks and disable Fresco power management on start, which also helps. In the Oculus settings section, this panel lets you improve the quality of the image you see in the Rift by super sampling. Zero is off, anything below one reduces the quality, and anything above one raises the quality. I use 1.5 for a noticeable improvement without taxing my GTX 1070 graphics card to death. Though you will have to try this out as higher values do require more powerful graphics cards. You can also apply super sampling to just a single app or game. So if I click view add profiles, then click browse and go to the Oculus game folder, which is located on your C drive in program files, Oculus, software, and software. And you can see I have Blaze Rush installed here. And in this Red Storm Entertainment folder, I have the Star Trek Bridge Crew application. So if I double click this, you'll see it then here. And I can choose a level of super sampling just for this game. So if I choose 1.3, then whenever I start Star Trek Bridge Crew with this Oculus Tray Tool open, the game will automatically have that 1.3 super sampling applied. And once you have all these three fields filled out here, you can then save all these settings as a profile for this game and it will appear here in this list. And you can also set the ASW mode for this game here. 
ASW or asynchronous space warp allows higher graphics settings to be used on less powerful graphics cards by cutting your frame rate in half from 90 frames per second down to 45 frames per second when your graphics card is under too much pressure. Generally, I recommend leaving this set to auto, but for fast paced games like this Doom 3 BFG VR mod, I found that a consistent 90 frames per second results in a much smoother experience. And so I have ASW set to off with that type of fast paced game. If you have a really low powered graphics card and CPU combo, then you can set ASW to always be on and your frame rate will always run at 45 frames per second. And the inherit ASW option means that whatever ASW value you have set in the main window here will be used instead. So while the ASW and super sampling values you set in this profiles menu affect a single game, whatever ASW or super sampling mode you choose here will affect all games instead. You can enable voice commands here to control various things in the Oculus tray tool by voice. In this column is what you want to happen when you speak, and in this column is what you have to say for these commands to action. So if I say enable space warp, the ASW, aka asynchronous space warp, will turn on. And if you want a confirmation voice to speak back to you when something is activated or deactivated, then choose which voice you want here. Just make sure that you you set up Windows speech recognition and your Rift's microphone is turned on and working first. Pretty cool, yeah? If we close out of that, here you can add Steam VR to the Oculus Home menu in VR, so you don't have to take off your Rift, open Steam VR, select the game manually, and then jump back into VR. The Oculus service section lets you start, stop, and restart the Oculus VR service, and the status of the service is here. I've found this helpful when Oculus Home has taken a nosedive and I've needed to force stop it or restart it. Then this list here is all self-explanatory as the titles literally say exactly what they do. I leave all of these unticked except for this one right here which fucks off that annoying your PC doesn't meet the minimum requirements for VR message. This section here gives you visibility on a graph of how your PC is performing while you are in the Rift. This one will show you the pixel density, which relates to the super sampling we set over here, and this one shows your performance in Hertz, aka frame rate, on one side, which should be running at 90 frames per second, or if ASW has kicked in, then 45 frames per second. And the graph on the right is your performance headroom, which is the amount of available processing power your PC has free. If this number is running really low, then that tells you that you may need a PC upgrade or you may have super sampling set too high and your PC just can't handle it. You don't really need to worry about these other settings unless you are a developer, in which case you likely know exactly what they do anyway. Hotkeys lets you control ASW settings and the visual HUD overlay using keys on your keyboard. Holding control or alt and using the left and right arrow key keys controls ASW settings, while holding control or alt and using the up and down arrows controls the visual HUD overlay. And finally, if you minimize the tray tool and go down to the Windows tray, you can right click on the app icon and there are a couple of quick access options here to save you a little time. Also, please bear in mind that for all this to work, the Oculus tray tool has to remain open. You can minimize it, but if you close it, then whatever settings you had set will not be working. And that's it for this tutorial. So if you liked what you saw, then crush that like button, click the links on screen now for more content, or click the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.